Let's say in some scenario, Joe Biden was watching this. What would you say to him? You're a mistake of nature. The next exit off this planet you get, you should take. You f***ed up this country far, far longer and far stronger than any moron that I've ever met. Leave office. You need to get the hell out. Don't let the door hit you in the ass on the way out. I don't consider myself to be an ultra MAGA. If you could look Trump in the eye and give him one anything you would want to say to him. Trump, I am, Mr. Trump, I am ready, willing, and able to give up this month's mortgage to help you win the White House once again. Oh my Lord, baby Jesus. These morons would give up their left lung even if they had cancer for Trump, a convicted criminal insurrectionist that they've never even met. And we're supposed to be the ones that are the sheep? Girl, the delusion. You know, if you're suing somebody privately and they delete and get rid of all your stuff that you subpoena, you got a very big consequence. You know what the consequence is, right? Oh, but you don't deserve the consequences for mishandling classified documents and trying to destroy them. Consequences for you, Mr. Trump, are unfair. And it's like a two-tier justice system. Good grief. How are we going to beat the Democrats with a candidate who is going to be out on bail facing numerous, numerous self-inflicted wounds in courtrooms across this country? Um, no one else wants to talk about that um, in the race because they're all afraid uh, of Donald Trump. I've known him for 22 years. I'm never going to be afraid to tell the truth, Neil. And what I just said is the truth. Oh, but honey boo boo, that isn't getting you very far because you're still pulling at 2.3% and Trump is still 50 points ahead of you. It's almost as if committing a crime is like a high priority voting criteria for Republican voters. I bet Nixon is rolling over in his grave right now. Well, look at Hillary Clinton. Look at what these other people got away with. You know, Obama took documents. Uh, Bush took documents. They all took documents. Take a look at Bill Clinton with the socks case, where he took him out in his socks. <laughs> okay, he took stuff out. He put it in his socks. No problem. Always works in the movies. How did the statement, he stole classified documents by hiding them in his socks, become a non-crazy thing to hear in politics these days? I guess Bill Clinton had some big fate. Which, by the way, Bill Clinton, Obama, and Hillary did not steal classified documents, unlike Trump. And by the way, the latest in the Jack Smith classified documents probe is that Trump asked co-conspirator Carlos de Oliveira to delete the video surveillance footage of them mishandling classified documents. And here is Trump himself saying what he thinks should be done about it. You know, if you're suing somebody privately and they delete and get rid of all your stuff that you subpoena, you got a very big consequence. You know what the consequence is, right? Not only is Trump a criminal and a moron, but also a massive hypocrite too. A hypocrite that brainless MAGA cultists would give up their mortgage for in order to appease. Girl, MAGA is the world's live SNL skit, and I mean, I'll be binge watching that stuff. And also, my name is Scott Johnson. You can find more of me on my YouTube and on my TikTok, which are in the description below. I do a morning live show on TikTok at 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. You should totally go and check it out. It's amazing. And most importantly, do not forget to smash that subscribe button to the breakdown. Do it for my Karen mug.